so let's see what these mean for you guys welcome i hope you're doing well i hope you're staying safe and healthy out there thank you for joining me please like share and subscribe um the moonlight card 51 what is this for the viewer uh, and, and remember this could be your energy or someone else's energy that you're dealing with um as far as um, you know, family, love, money, whatever, a sense of stability within yourself. So you have um, got the death card. This is somewhat of a, a transformation. This is somebody who maybe is finding spirituality and is being called by something, um, being drawn to something. If you, you just look at this card, it's almost a sense of, you know, should I go? Should I not do it? It's uncertainty, but it's very much this moon energy where you could feel like you're being delusional or you could feel like it's not true or a sense of um, unsure, something unsure. Um, yeah, that's what I feel. So maybe unsure of taking this leap of faith or ending something. But my gosh, it's all that you think about really with the six of cups and the four of cups. Um, you could be going through the situation where you want to return to a lover, you want to re return to a happy state, or maybe just a happy time in your childhood, or maybe heal some kind of things about your childhood, inner childhood stuff. Um, I feel like this is somebody who is trying to take that leap of faith to change. Um, it could be that you're thinking about it. You're having an introspection. You're away from people. You're, you're, it's really causing you to think about cause and effect, okay? Um, I definitely do feel like this is where you want to get off of this island and you don't want to be somewhat isolated anymore. Uh, so maybe this is somebody who needs to let go of something, okay? Let's see here. Um, I want to know what is the death card? What's the death card? Uh, what is the death card and the tower something faulty about a, a foundation um is something that maybe has taken your power or your ability to see and think clearly it, it's very much that card it's very much i don't know should i go is this real am i confused um something like that someone has somewhat um maybe taken your energy um and not being able to see clearly but it is a transformation definitely so you got the star um and it's in reverse. It's something that maybe you haven't seen. It, it's maybe something that you haven't quite allowed yourself to to feel or um, a sense of uh, vulner vulnerability that maybe was just very empowering. Like uh, in, instead of moving towards the vulnerability, you might have shied away from it. But there's a new growth here. There's definitely a sense of a new growth. There's definitely a sense of a spiritual connection, maybe spirit trying to guide you. Um, the Four of Wands, the Moon card, really trying to change you, really trying to get you out of fear. And then the Nine of Cups, uh, there's definitely a sense that there's some kind of courage or strength that needs to be taken um, to get out of this rut. Uh, you could be thinking of a happier time, but not moving on it, you know, maybe due to fear, not knowing you obviously you, I feel like maybe you have to, to maybe go towards um, a good relationship. Maybe you're stuck in a bad relationship. This could be, you know, if it's not a relationship for you, it could be work. It could be family. Um, it could be your state of mind. It could be that you need to, to heal something in order to start the new partnership to come together um with stability okay um i definitely do feel that there's a sense of changing something's changing you're seeing the light you're seeing the emotion and it could very well be um spirit and divinely guided to you as far as bringing in your wishes okay what is the six of cups what is the six of cups here what's the six of cups what is this case okay so uh -huh, the two of cups this is this is uh, i laugh because i mean i just don't know what's gonna come out but it, it's it's beautiful because it's definitely returning to something that is your soulmate it's your twin it, it's it's your connection it's that spiritual connection that even though you're away from it or you don't focus on it or you, you maybe don't voice it um it, it's still there it still lingers it, it somewhat uh causes you to be 
in a dreamy state um you want it but you feel like you you don't deserve it you don't feel it's the right thing it, it, it's something that you think about and you contemplate a lot about um making that leap of faith to maybe return to somebody who is true to you um this could be a person who's stuck in the wrong place and you're being called by spirit to let go of the, that that wrong partnership okay and this is where with the eight of, of pentacles it's like you're really trying to build a stronger core for yourself and definitely maybe enter into spirituality which is something that is is not maybe heard of like you it's just something not that is in your nature is what i feel um but you're working on it i feel whoever this is they're working on building that tree of life that that strong foundation okay uh, and you might have to go to the past to get that strong foundation and get out of of uh, things that just really haven't worked out for you in the now you know um really taking the lessons and is what i feel so i feel that with the tower card and the star card this is someone who's losing their foundation but it's not a it's not a bad thing it's like losing the false sense of self um being able to change and really come into the right partnership the right relationship the one that gives you that legacy and that one that gives you that strength and that power to go forward um so i definitely do feel like this is definitely a sense of divine masculine divine feminine somewhat working on their spirituality um which will bring you together into this beautiful like nine nine of cups energy where it's a wish fulfillment um perhaps to be together you see i definitely do feel this is divine intervention with the magic prayer it, it's really something that you're being called to what is the magic prayer this is allowing you to change this transforms this really gives a sense of direction and where you need to go and a planning um, to move towards maybe this is you traveling to your person maybe this is your person traveling to you after somewhat of a delay or maybe a setback or not thinking that you're going to be able to come together with the two of wands the queen of swords and the seven of cups so some sort of truth needs to be seen or heard or even spoken in order to be given a new opportunity okay so what i see here is somebody from your past or their past that needs to come in and and say some kind of truth um have some kind of clarity which will then in turn give a new a new beginning with the seven of cups here a better choice maybe maybe you know you've made a bad choice down down the road and um you're trying to get yourself out of it okay what is the two of wands two of wands so and this is beautiful because it's devil in reverse. So maybe, maybe seeing through the things that held you back in the past, uh, you know, the light is always going to prevail darkness. In the darkest pit of darkness, if a light starts to shimmer in there, it will overtake the darkness. So this is somebody who might need to release some kind of... Um, you know bad tendencies bad habits drinking uh bad negative people hanging around you um over obsessive in something you know um and i feel like this person is turning their back to that and they're seeing the light is what i feel and there's that lovers at the bottom so maybe making a choice from something that they've been stuck in okay but the queen of swords the queen of swords what is the queen of swords please the queen of swords so this is the ten of cups this is where the truth is. This is where it needs to be spoken. You make me happy. I love you. I want to continue with you. I want to I want to build my home, my shelter with you. This is what needs to be said in order for that new opportunity to come in. Seven of, pen, seven of cups, please. Seven of cups. What is this new option? Okay, so this is really taking those fears and putting them aside and just maybe speaking the truth and it's almost a sense of um bringing some kind of good news some kind of new um maybe new communication give me one more with the page of, of wands what is this maybe it's just starting over and being able to go and push yourself with this passion or um starting over maybe 
wiping the slate clean, letting go of the, the bad choices, and, and really needing to start over again. You got the six six of um, wands and the strength card. See, this person, whoever this is, whether this is you or them, they need that courage to acknowledge that they have to get out of this devil energy. Whatever battle this devil energy has been causing on the inside needs to somehow escape. Um, and how is that done? It, it's done by communication. It's done by um, acknowledging that you've made mistakes. This leads into healing, is what they're saying. It leads into someone who becomes stronger and they tame the beast within themselves. The beast being negativity, bad thinking, drinking, even hanging out with the wrong people, being in the wrong relationship, um, working for the devil, really working for that, 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 um, working for the wrong God, really, is what I see here. But it's almost a person who's who's definitely seeing the light, okay? Like I said, it, it's definitely somebody who's seen the error of their ways and they're detaching from something. So whether this is you or your person, it's that prayer, it's that magic and that prayer of God that is somehow o allowing this person to overcome whether this is you or them. There is some sort of victory and success in, in this connection. Um, so I do feel that this definitely could be your twin. This definitely could be happening to you. Uh, maybe to both of you, actually. Okay. Um, so I want to know, what is the movement? What is card 28 movement? Is this allowing for a new choice to come in? What is the, the 28 movement? What does this mean? Maybe you're moving locations. Maybe you're moving from a bad negative mindset to more positive, more healing. Um, let's see here. So it's something that, you know, if you've hit a, a roadblock, it's a dead end. It, it's something that you know you have to change. And you might need a little bit of nurturing. You might need a little bit of substance to get you to move. But the Seven of Pentacles, it's that, it, it's very much that card of sowing, reaping what you sow. Okay, whatever you're planting is what you get back. So is this a realization that, my God, I've been investing in something that doesn't grow? Is this my time to turn this away, turn back from this something, this situation that isn't growing? Um, if that makes sense, that's what I feel. And the judgment card, it's releasing that, releasing whatever that negativity is with the devil, um, you know, being attached to the wrong thing. Maybe this is somebody who's just spent a lot of time trying to work on something that is just not working. And God is saying, put that to end. Don't be stuck there. Move forward. Have a new beginning. Allow love. Allow vulnerability. Um, you know, that's what I feel. So that is what's going to give the new beginning. What is the seven? Seven of cups and the judgment. The judgment, please. Judgment. Seven of Pentacles, sorry. So maybe where, you know, you block yourself from looking to the future of having some sort of um, stability or um, re reciprocity. Um, you know, it's almost as if, excuse me, guys, if you stay in that, that state of your manifestations are not growing, it's because you got to surrender to them. You got to let go of something that isn't working. You got to let go of a project or a person or a thing or something in your mind that is just not working anymore so that you can allow reciprocity in with the six of pentacles okay um yeah give me one more okay and you're healing the sun everything's gonna be okay definitely what i hear um you're gonna be okay whatever that is for you whatever has it been balanced for you in a sense, spirit is coming in and wiping all that out and giving you a sense of a new option with something that is balanced. Um, overworked. Overworked, not getting enough pay. Um, overworked in a relationship and you're not getting the right love and tenderness that you need. Um, it's all healing. It's all being wiped out so that you can start over again. And you can have that happy. You can have your family and your pets surrounding you. And it's a choice to leave any of the darkness behind you. It's very much what is happening today. Um, leaving all the lies that we've been told. Um, leaving all the lies of how we're supposed to live. And, and it's all 
a lot of stuff that has just caused us to stay in that devil energy and holding on to negativity when it's not meant to be like that the sun is god and the sun is healing you okay um i want to know what is into the unknown so you're scared of this new change you're scared of what's going to happen but they're trying to tell you don't be scared you will be successful um you know charge on with the knight of swords and the nine of pentacles think positive even though we're going through dark times whatever this is you will get the good news that you need to hear the new passion the new start um the new communication even if it has to come through thick and thick and um the thick end of a storm like you know like rushing through a storm to get to yourself get yourself to a new sense of um security and stability um this could be happening for both of you i feel uh where you're recognizing okay you know i'm good um this you're successful with everything that you have you're still successful even the the darkest moments that you've had it's like they're just moments they're tempor temporary moments but you're still able to be successful and so they're telling you don't don't lack on your action or communication with others or it, it's really this passion that's coming to life for you and for others i feel and it could be your other person letting go of some sort of um with the ten of wands letting go of some sort of burdens or something that they hold on to with the five of wands that's been somewhat um a struggle and a battle um what else please i want to know what the what, what is the knight of swords what is this action it's like don't be scared to heal don't be scared to heal you've been banged up definitely banged up put through the ringer build a wall up didn't want to feel vulnerable didn't want to feel love just probably didn't even feel like this could happen to you but you see there is a sense of divine femme really guiding you into spirituality uh, that's what the cave represents it it, it it represents spirit and god and definitely there's truth here okay um so don't be scared to let go and and you know learn from the hurt that you've you've been dealt uh, i feel like that is the message for divine masculine really let go of that wall because there's so much love that needs to be had and to be given and so perhaps this is where you find your victory and success with your twin or your soulmate or just moving into a better direction but it's very uncertain so it's almost with that uncertainty i feel it's a very hard move to go forward because you're uncertain of whether or not the, whether or not you'll come together or things will work out for you um and there's some truth that needs to be had there's some, you got the ace of swords and the 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 ace of pentacles so and then there's that um the ace of wands and the ace of cups i'm telling you this happened yesterday there's a new beginning in love there's a new beginning in money there's a new beginning in communication and there's definitely a new beginning as far as your passions and what drives you and maybe this is a move towards spirituality and god and seeing things different um there's definitely a sense of of starting over okay like this this slate is, is being lifted and there's so much fear and our world has been just driven by so much evilness it's being wiped out even though you still might be stuck in that fear of not knowing how it's going to end up god is telling you everything is going to come to for you whatever this is for you whether it's money whether it's love whether it's accepting the truth but when you accept the truth that's when everything just starts just it just starts blossoming and that's where we all are so there's somebody here that needs to voice this there's someone here that needs to not be scared of what is the unknown um maybe this is somebody who will get their karmic justice and turn their back to some sort of trickery or something that has been holding them back okay um i definitely do feel like karmic justice is being um given to all of us okay um and so this is a hard shift into that harmonious state that we need to go to and the new beginning you, you see so definitely a lot of healing for lovers and for mental thinking and it's just beautiful i feel like the energy is shifting um so get out of that worry and follow your intuition and follow your god and 
accept truths you know like i said we've been lied to for so long and this is where you accept it and you say well now i'm going to take the truth i'm going to live by the truth okay um let's see what is the outcome for this reading please so you got the five of wands which has been restricting you it's your inner conflict has restricted you from going forward but in this deck it definitely shows that those wands are put down and you feel a sense of confidence whether this is people who have been somewhat combative with you or competitive with you it's like ah, uh, i'm not dealing with that anymore i'm over it i am I'm, I'm ready for something new okay um what else please what else okay so strength moving forward um expanding um, really, I feel with the strength card, it's very much um, a divine intervention to let go of the darkness. Um, what else, please? Three of Wands. So something you've been waiting for is very much going to come in, too, for you because you've released something. You've let go of the anxiety and, and the faulty foundation. Okay. What else? So let's see. The truth will come out. And you're going to make a choice that is better for you. Okay. Um, what else, please? What else? So the truth is definitely going to set you free. And it's going to be able to give you the sense of stability. Um, this is where you can protect yourself. You can protect others. You, um, you have a sense of grounding energy. And you've learned a lot from your mistakes. And it is a masculine here. So this is what the masculines are doing right now. Um, probably trying to shed the things that are not true. And really, it starts with that five of wands where they're trying to let go of those those things that they've held onto for such a long time. that are not true. And it's because of the society, the way we were brought up and the way they've been lying to us for so many years. Thousands and thousands of years. We are promised a thousand years of peace and harmony and love and that's what the ace of swords are telling you the ace of swords the ace of cups um the p the ace of pentacles the ace of wands that's what it's telling you okay um so i want to know what are the words of love that they need to hear just hang in there guys hang in there things will lift um you know they will lift okay freedom so you are re realizing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. Um, and that's where the freedom of, of speech and the freedom of truth and accepting that stuff is going to set you free. Okay. Um, definitely. And this is what I feel there. Okay. And then acceptance. So um, this is about you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. And that's where we're headed to. The beginning of everything of peace for a thousand years. We will have peace. Okay. It's very much revelations. I don't know if you guys, um, you know, believe in that stuff. But it's very much where we're going to get the promised land for those who are here. Okay. Um, I want to know what is this karmic cycle? What is this karmic cycle? How is it going to end? So paradise. Um expansion joy playfulness oneness being together um mirroring each other self-image relationship relationships um you you know your wounds being healed healthy choices um and then with the golden mirror you have two mirrors so maybe this is both of you reflecting on each other self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship love bombing so changing that the sword with the rose clarity truth revelation solidarity um this is a force and the honor so this is really that that judgment you know releasing and starting over um so then seduction attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation third party interference it's letting go of all of that those old structures that we had okay and the karmic relationship, feeling um, fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. And that's definitely what the beginning is with the, the death card. It's, it's really a transformation. Um, absolutely beautiful reading. Um, I want to know, what are these two souls telling each other? What are they telling each other in their dreams and the intuition and it just energetically? What is it? Okay, so you have... 
you are moving into a steady and reliable path. Awesome. I have found the one that my soul loves, definitely. And don't be afraid um, when, who doesn't, okay, let's see. Don't be afraid who doesn't want you. So don't be scared of things that are not good for you, okay? It's okay to let go of things, especially if you're stuck in a karmic relationship that is unhealthy, that is somewhat um, trapping and self-absorbing and one-sided. Um, it's okay to express that you want to change and go down a new path, okay? Um, let's see here. What is the Kuan Yin? What is the Kuan Yin message for today, please? Kuan Yin. What is their message for today? What do they need to see? Okay, so let's see. This one right here. It says, dream your dreams. Trust that the desires in your heart are placed there lovingly by the universe. You are meant to dream of what you dream. And that's what this card is right here. It started all out with this one where you are having dreams. You are have, having this pull to go towards something new and not being scared of it. Don't let the ego stop you from getting what you truly deserve and desire and want to manifest for yourself. Um, and don't be afraid of God pushing you either because that's what I see is happening here. Okay, so there you go. I do hope you like this reading. Thank you so much for your time. Stay blessed and safe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Welcome to this guided meditation prayer for protection against sickness and evil for yourself, for your family, and for the world. If you're guided here, it is for a reason. As a collective, if we do pray and stand together, we will banish evil that has been placed on this world. Allow yourself to focus on this light and just draw all your energy into this light. I will turn the music up so you can listen to it and let you hear it for a moment. In this time, just be in a meditative state with healing energy. Think about healing yourself, the world, the sickness that is happening in this world think about that and then i will lower the music and say the prayer thank you so much guys
Beloved Archangel Michael, I call upon you to connect with me and help me at this moment, now and forever. I ask that you and your band of angels unite together to protect the earth and its humanity in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God strips all his fallen angels of their dark powers once and for all, now and forever. May the ones who hold dark powers, the ones that have been able to rule humanity away from the one and only true God, the ones who have been creating animosity, fear, sickness, and blockages to God by distractions on this earth be stripped of their powers and omitted from this earth now and forever. May the truth that God holds be revealed and allow the earth to rule in peace, love, and harmony as God intended. I pray, Archangel Michael, that you surround me with your love, light, peace, and protection. Guide me, heal me, and bless me now and forever. I pray that you vacuum any negative thoughts, fears, phobias, procrastinations, ill health, sorrow and sadness, pain, worries, black magic, evil eye, and financial blockages that hold that I hold within me. Cut any evil cords and remove these from me and replace them with white light instead. Convert my negative thoughts into positive thoughts, fears with faith, procrastination into proactiveness, ill health into health, sorrow and sadness into happiness, pain into relief, worries into peace, and financial blockages into abundance. Protect me now and forever. Heal and protect all who are sick in the world now and forever. Protect my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my wife, my husband, my children, and my neighbors now and forever. I thank you, Archangel Michael, and your band of angels for your love and protection and for listening and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.